Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to make a photo bouquet. For that you need few things. Let's get started. F basic and more foremost thing is wooden box, a rectangle wooden box. This you will get it from a carpenter. You can make it done by a carpenter. Uh, as you can see, the box is covered up with and sheets plain sheets. I have not used any texture sheet because I want to decorate it. I have used handmade flowers as you can see and uh, moreover I have uh, see the space inside the wooden box is wider. You need to keep the space wider because you can place all your photograph sticks with sticks inside that as much. Uh, in height it has to be long and also, you can decorate it with an embellishment. You can see the embellishments here. I've used this embellishment, and uh, you can on that uh, on the box I have used the mirror, and bes on sides of the wall of the box I have used flowers and heart shape, and I have wrote with the sketch happy anniversary message. Now, box is ready. We'll head to second part of a video. Guys, today we're going to do something really easier and uh, I'm talking about a uh, photograph bouquet. So for that we need few things. Let's get started into this. We need spray, spray paint, acrylic paint, uh, glue gun, fevicol, scissor, uh, cardboard. You use thick cardboard, yeah. We need thick cardboard. Broomstick few embellishment like mirrors and uh, few other embellishment which you as as per you needed few photographs color papers any of your choice and most important these transparent sheet to cover your photograph and yeah I told you about broomstick so why I'm going to use uh, acrylic paint here to spray on this broom uh, stick which I'm going to use behind the cardboard after placing photograph and everything I'll show you how to and I'm going to spray it on this uh, acrylic paint to give a uh, brown finish uh, good look I mean to give a finished look to the wooden stick so it looks good when I stick behind that photo so let's get started how to make here you can see uh, first cut your cardboard in a size of a photograph so your photograph is gonna be something this size right so you have to cut it you have to measure it like uh, I have cut it my photograph uh, um, more small uh, like smaller because I want to show the edges of uh, background edges so I'm gonna place the the color paper sheet on this see uh, yeah it look like this and uh, then I'm gonna place stick it everything then I'm gonna place my photograph and this will look like this you can go you can see the edges be uh, from side and then I'm gonna place this I was talking about this sheet transparent sheet and I'm gonna place this on this and it's covering this completely and you can place some embellishments here so any embellishments you want so this will look really nice so, uh, I have done one I'm sure I'm gonna show you see you can see sorry you can see this I please uh, I've used cardboard uh, and then photograph and then this sheet so that uh, it protects my photo and then a flower so I have repeated this process to each and every photo and have decorated with an different embellishments on the photograph this way the photos are ready now you need two more things to make a photo bouquet is one first one is like thermocol sheet and second is broomstick which I have told you earlier in the video cut the thermocol sheet in a shape of a rectangle box and place in inside the box and take broomstick paint it with an acrylic and stick it behind the photos 
take all that photos and stick it in the box but you have to arrange it in a height wise and appropriate as you can see it if any space in between you can see thermocol or it's see through you can uh, also use few grass or some flowers to decorate it in between so this way the photo book it is ready now you can see in the photo the photos are appropriate and in, in a proper height and you can see each and every photo properly arranged and in between if the space is see through use different things to decorate it thank you guys for watching this video and i hope this is very helpful to you for making and don't forget to subscribe my page like my video and stay tuned for more videos